This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Our general confession. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men and women, we acknowledge and be well our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life to the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. pray. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. We welcome your power. We welcome your truth. We welcome your comfort. We welcome your anointing upon us, upon this service today. Fall fresh on us. Fill us, Holy Spirit. Cleanse us. Give us all that we need. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the anointing on your word. We thank you for the anointing on your preached word and upon your messenger. We thank you for your anointing upon your we thank you and praise you, O oh God, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. It's this that we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 138. I give thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. I sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness, for your promises are backed by the honor of your name. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Every king in all the earth will thank you, Lord, for all of them will hear your words. Yes, they will sing about the Lord's ways, for the glory of the Lord is very great. Though the Lord is great, he cares for the humble, but he keeps the distance from the proud. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O oh Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. The Gospel according to Mark chapter 3, verses 20 through 35. 
One time Jesus entered a house and the crowds began to gather again. Soon he and his disciples couldn't even find time to eat. When his family heard what was happening, they tried to take him away. He's out of his mind, they said. But the teachers of religious law who had arrived from Jerusalem said, he's possessed by Satan, the prince of demons. That's where he gets the power to cast out demons. Jesus called them over and responded with an illustration. How can Satan cast out Satan? He asked. A kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. Similarly, a family splintered by feuding will fall apart. And if Satan is divided and fights against himself, how can he stand? He would never survive. Let me illustrate this further. Who is powerful enough to enter the house of a strong man and plunder his goods? Only someone even stronger, someone who could tie him up and then plunder his house. I tell you the truth, all sin and blasphemy can be forgiven, but anyone who blasphemes the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. This is a sin with eternal consequences. He told them this because they were saying he is possessed by an evil spirit. Then Jesus's mother and brothers came to see him. They stood outside and sent word for him to come out and talk with them. There was a crowd sitting around Jesus and someone said, your mother and brother are outside asking for you. Jesus replied, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he looked out those around him and said, look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Our prayer of consecration. Almighty God, our heavenly father, who of your tender mercy did give your only son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in, in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech you and grant that we, receiving these your creatures of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed to bread, and then when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. When in the night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. I take this bread. I'm giving thanks. 
Jesus also said in the same way with the cup. When he had given thanks, he also gave it to his disciples and said, drink this all of you for the blood of the new covenant is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Blood that was shed on Calvary. We thank and praise him. Amen. 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 Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We invite you to worship with us in giving. Thank you for your giving this morning. If you're so led to join us in uh, giving um, a love offering to our pastor, you may do so uh, using the Givelify app. Choose other category or if using the envelope, uh, designate the love offering. You may also um, use the website, wayman-amec.com. Thank you. Thank you, God. Great and awesome God, we come before you this morning thanking and praising you for last night's lying down and this morning's rising up. God, we have sinned and fallen short of your glory. We ask that you would forgive us, you would cleanse us and make us whole. God, we thank you for the work that you did on the cross, that you've already uh, appropriated our healing, our deliverance, and God, we thank and we praise you. Now, Lord, as our children look for jobs for the summer, we ask that you would be with them. We ask that you would be with all of us as we uh, deal with the issues of this pandemic. God, we thank you for uh, delivering us. We thank you for walking with us. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for the vaccine. We thank you for all that you've done in order to bring us to this point in our life. God, we praise you. We honor you. We glorify you. You are a mighty good God. Now, God, there are those that are grieving. There are those that are mourning the deaths of sisters and sister friends and, and others in their life. And God, we ask that you would be with them. Then there are those that are rejoicing because of weddings. And so, God, we ask that you would be with them. Lord, we just ask that you, your presence would be with us. Your presence would make a difference in our life and in the life of this congregation. God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor and we glorify you. For you alone are worthy of our praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
glory to God. Yes, the blood will never lose its power. Good morning, everybody. Blessings to you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, my God, how excellent. Oh, Lord, save, save, save your children today. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Our text today is coming from 1 Chronicles 16, 8 through 15. 16, 8 through 15. Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nation what he has done. Sing to him. Praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his voice always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Israel, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob, he is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembered his covenant forever. He promised the promise, the promise he made for thousands of generations. Amen? Amen. Miracles and wonders. Worship is the center of our joys. The book of Chronicles teaches us this. This is an important lesson. With humility, we learn the lesson of the priestly Davidic family tree and the troubled histories of Judah and Israel. God said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. The Lord wants each of us to seek his love. Seek his love out with a heart for God, like David. And we will experience wonders and miracles in our daily walk. The Holy Spirit directs us to cultivate a heart for God using music, songs, dancing, movement, and by studying the revelation of God in the word of God using our Bibles. Let us give God all the glory. Let us subject ourselves to God's judgment. Let us serve God's purpose. Let's look to the heavenly skies to see his glorious and wonderful miracles. God revealing himself to us is a wonder and a miracle. He takes upon himself a human form and becoming a man. Oh, oh God, what a wonderful, lovely wonder. What a delight. We want to talk to God in our daily decisions. We often Wait until we are in the middle of trouble before we turn to God. By then, the circumstances of our actions have already unfolded. When do we ask God for help? Is it a desperate last resort? 
let us begin with going to God first. Then we will receive incredible wonders and miracles and avoid serious troubles. We learned that after David had won several battles, he becomes famous. The Lord causes all the nations to fear David. The wonders and the miracles in his life continues as he leans on God. David has learned many lessons from God along the way to kingship and to leadership. David praised God with thanksgiving for all the wonders and miraculous miracle blessings he received. He wanted to praise and honor God with all his heart, with all his soul, with all his mind, with all his strength. We have been home, quarantined, set apart, seeking God in different levels of worship and different ways of communicating, experiencing other ways to worship and being drawn closer to God, to be used, to serve God in wonderful, awesome ways. We have been able to see some things in our lives that we didn't even know was there, whether it be good or not so good. Things that need attention, people that need attention, we need attention. Things that hurt our hearts, destruction, sickness, killings, hate, jealousy, no justice, crisis of identity in our children, depression, death, and all kinds of illness and unrest in our soul. Physical and mentally. But Jesus, oh my God, Jesus, he put it all under his feet at Calvary. Hallelujah, glory to God. So there is, there is good news. We are coming back into the house of God. People all over the world are coming in to celebrate who God is and what he has done for us. We can't come back the same. We can't come back the same. We've got to come back with joy in our hearts like David experience battles, we too experience battles, just like David. When we think of the wonderful, wondrous works God has done and will do, I am expecting great things. Are you expecting great things, wonders and miracles? The miracles I see, can you see it? Can you visualize it? We shall, we shall again gather together to sing joyful songs, to hear the piano, the drums, the trumpet, and maybe even the flute. Dance with the Lord, the Lord of the dance. Put on the garment of praise and clap our hands and stomp our feet and jump for the Lord. Leap and rejoice unto God. See praise like never before. Unspeakable joy. <laughs> hey, yeah, unspeakable joy. Meditating on the promises of God. What God is greater than our God? There is none like him. Whatever, whatever gift God has blessed you with, let it burst, let it burst forth. The Lord has done many wonders and miracles in your life and miracles in my life. Jesus said, believe when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. You can ask. God for anything. He said, just ask him 
in his will and he will do it. Seek ye the kingdom of God and all things shall be added. God does extraordinary miracles, gifts of the Holy Spirit, gifts of deliverance, the fruit of the Spirit. Think of the wonderful works God has done, the miracles and judgments he handed down. Where would we be today if it had not been for God? Oh, Lord, I got up one morning. I went to the left. He pulled me up out of the mauri clay, turned me around, and placed my feet on solid ground. Whoa, children, Lord. God's servants, descendants of Jacob, we are God's chosen ones. Oh, he's always standing there, standing there by his covenant and committed to move to a thousand generations. Ooh, he never changes. He never changes. He remains steadfast, faithful. Never forget what God has done for you. Never forget what God has done for you. I will never forget what God has done for me. Tell somebody, tell somebody what God has done for you. Offer your time and your resources. Express your praise. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he heal you? Won't he give you what you need when you're not feeling right? Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. The blood, the blood, it will never fail. Oh, it rained through his body for you and for me. He covered our sins. Oh, bless your holy name. Mm -hmm. Wonders and miracles. Hallelujah. 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 When I think of the goodness of the Lord. Nobody like Jesus, nobody like Jesus. Say, oh, people all over the world. Miracles, wonders, that's Jesus. Hey, he's in the working business. He is wonders, he is miracles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people, Lord. Save, Lord Jesus. There may be one today that need healing and saving, Father. Oh, Lord, the doors of the church are wide open, wide open, wide open. Oh, Lord, there might be one. Oh, if you just give your heart to Jesus today, all you have to do is just say to Jesus, I believe, Lord, I believe in you, Father Jesus, I believe in you. You died for me, Father. You rose for me. And you're coming back. Yeah, you're coming back, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus. Forgive us. Forgive me, Lord. For my sins, Lord Jesus. Wash, wash clean, Father Jesus. I repent, Lord. 
Give it all. Oh, bless your name, Lord. It's all you have to do is trust Jesus. He will do it for you. If there be one today, surrender unto God. Surrender up to him. your hand and we will pray with you today. God is able. Won't he do it? Hey, he'll do it. He'll heal your body. He will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bless your name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine his face up on you and be gracious unto you. May he turn to you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Amen.